One of the most important readings that you wind up doing is um, your breathing. So you got cucumbers, you got your squash, yellow squash, you got your green squash, carrots. Carrots are great when you're. This is a great snack. Okay, you can make a salad. Use this for making soups. Peppers, green, yellow, orange. You can even use these to eat the snack like that. These could be great, great snacks. What is this? Eggplant. Eggplant, right. Very good, very nutritious. Okay. You can cut it up, light olive oil, real quick. Celery. The celery is very good. You can have it as a snack with a little bit of peanut butter. Don't overdo it on the peanut butter. You can just snack on it like that. Especially good for soups. Okay? Carrots, soups, okay, squash, you can throw that in your soups. Actually, vegetable soup has no calories, believe it or not. Just put broth with loaded vegetables. It's all extra. Drink like your own water, a little bit of you know chicken base. You know, like maybe half a teaspoon. Okay. And then you add the different vegetables. It really tastes good. And it has zero calories, honestly. It's, uh, it's, uh, I have a very good. If you don't like tomatoes, okay, we're going to take a tomato, tomato. These are good. You can make uh, a lot of good stuff. You can even snack on them also. You can use these as poppers. You can pop them in your mouth. Okay, this also can be good as a snack. Throw them in your salads. Okay. You can saute tomatoes. Do a nice saute also. Same thing with cabbage. You can just slice it up, throw it in your salad. Okay. You can make cabbage soup and all kinds of different kinds of recipes with cabbage. So it's a very good food. Mushrooms, you can slice them up and put them in your salad. You can put them over chicken. Okay, you can make different broths using um, mushrooms. And of course, we have different kinds of mushrooms. As you can see. The mushrooms already, you know, the portobello, they come in cut up already, so you at least have to work done. Yeah. Broccoli sprouts. You can use sprouts for your salads. You can use them with tuna fish. You make a tuna fish sandwich, throw them in there. Just a little bit more uh, flavor. Sunflower seeds, as long as they're not salted, it's fine. Okay. Almonds. Natural almonds. That's fine also. Okay, that's something that's going to be good. Almonds, no any kind of nuts from any country. Almonds. Don't go for any mixed fruits, any this, any trail mix, none of that. Just keep it simple. You know, this has a lot of nutrients in it. So you can also eat it. Don't just cut, you just eat the tree part. You can eat this too, okay? You can slice it up. Broil it. Broil it. Broil it. Cook it. Okay. Radishes. You can put them in salads. You can even just eat them like that also. I do. Okay, that's all. Nice natural beets. Okay. Once again, you can cut them up, you can cook them, you can have them nice, like cut the tops. As we have a chef on the show, he, uh, he, he you can roast them, put a little garlic on them. No, you do, you wrap them up in tin foil, you put them in the oven 350 so they get a little soft. We'll go through some recipes. So apples, you can even throw these in salads to give a little bit different flavor. Okay. You can, with the apples, okay, you can slice them up, throw them in, put them in a baggie, all right? If you want, you can put them in the oven, you know, hollow out the core, put some cinnamon in it, tiny little bit, maybe of olive oil, a tiny little bit of butter, throw it in, it'll be delicious. Uh, the greener? The greener? The less sugar. Okay, that's what I wanted the, to add. The redder, as the colors get redder, it's more sweet. Okay. It's gonna be potatoes. No potatoes. No sweet potatoes. Nothing. No, nothing in the potato family. Okay. Oranges. Oranges are great. Grapefruits. Okay. You can take grapefruits. A lot of people don't like the grapefruit. What they do is they put sugar on it. It feeds the purpose. So don't do that. Okay. Oranges anytime. Grapefruits are great. Strawberries. Okay. So you can 
something else. You can make a drink out of it. You know, get some water, throw some strawberries in the blender, um, throw a little bit of protein powder mix in it, and now you have a drink. Okay, nice meal replacement. What I do is stay away from cheese, okay? A lot of people say, oh, I put a little bit of cheese, a little of this. Right now, you have to make a drastic, drastic change. You're gonna eventually come back and have some cheese in your diet or your lifestyle. But right now, you want to cut it all out. Too much any of this. And if you cut out the fat, the more fat, it doesn't taste as good. It's more rubbery. It has more salt. That's the problem with low fat. Okay. You can have your pre-packaged salads. That's fine. No croutons whatsoever. See, this is a salad finisher. Everything in a salad finisher, you want to avoid. Okay? The whole stuff that's no good, bread and cheese and stuff. Salad finishers, no. Make your own salad. If you buy a salad that's already pre-made, most of the time, they're going to have creamy sauces and stuff like that. Get away from it. If you want, you can get a spring mix. Spring mix is great. It's got everything in it. You throw some carrots, some onions, some tomatoes in it, and there's a salad for you. Okay. you some peppers. Whole thing. You can have the whole thing and make it, you know, colorful, a great meal right. with protein. Like add some chicken to it. Add, you can cut it up smaller. Add some tuna fish to it also. 